I think everybody's aware of this uh, .nile extension ransomware. So on the 8th of August, Saturday morning, uh, here in Nepal, my desktop um, got infected with the uh, ransomware. Uh, and I was struggling to, you know, um, decrypt uh, the coding. So later on, you know, I tried a lot of uh, YouTube videos and I, I tried to uh, try the Google articles uh, from different platforms, but nothing helped, you know. So I have a couple of friends. I st shared it in my story in Facebook and Instagram. Um, I spoke to a lot of people about it, you know, a lot of ethical hackers and software engineers. But, you know, 90% of the people said, you know, there was no chance of uh, retrieving um, the files. Uh, apart from you know contacting the hack hackers themselves so um, talking to a lot of people you know I made a conclusion that you know I wouldn't have my files back unless you know I tried to talk with the people so I'll show you a few things so if you if you see my PC so these these are the files that was encrypted with dot nile extension so uh, say for instance uh, I'll show you one thing um, okay so if I were to open this it wouldn't open if I were to change this extension and just okay one second uh, if I were to change this extension it wouldn't work as well so I'll show you that uh, rename so if I were to remove this NILE extension it wouldn't work so this wouldn't work you know just uh, I'm looking for a JPEG file if there is one JPEG 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 oh right, let's go inside this and have a look at the MOV as the MOV file in here uh, I'll see if I have any JPEG M4A okay um, so a lot of my files uh, say if I go to this one all right all of them were you know encrypted with the nile extension so if i were to remove this extension and this wouldn't open at all so what i had to do is i had to uh, contact these hackers themselves you know uh, dot n i l e and i managed to have a communication with these guys uh, in a lot of emails, you know, I try to negotiate, you know, I, t I try to tell them, you know, is it is a country where we hardly make a dollar a day. And it was quite true, you know, so for us to pay a ransom of around $500 was quite impossible. And they were asking $490 within the first 72 hours of this um, attack. And the ransom would be doubled. That was nine hundred and eighty dollars after the seventy-two hours was passed. So I tried to manage and you know um, chat with them uh, through emails uh, within the seventy-two hours, and they uh, demanded uh, zero point zero five of Bitcoin. You know that was a cryptocurrency that they asked, um, and that was roughly around six hundred seventy dollars in exchange, which uh, recently um, was increased the exchange rate. So I tried to negotiate and you know do it in 50 and 100 dollars but you know they wouldn't agree and finally i told them i okay i'll pay you 490 dollars uh, which would be around 0 0.041 bitcoin and asked you know requested them to give me the the software and the decryption code uh, and they finally agreed i'll show you a few uh, emails with them i had a lot of conversation so this was from my outlook um, my um, uh, outlook email you know i tried to negotiate with them a lot of times and finally only after the payment they sent me this email today uh, where you know they told me to scan this uh, pc with the an antivirus and uh, download this file uh, which was the actual um, um, link of the software um, which I have already downloaded. I will keep this in the link below so you can you guys can try this out. And you know the, the, the my private key. If you have a look, so they left this note on my PC. A readme text. Uh, where is it? Okay, so if I were to show, okay, okay, readme text where it shows 
you know you have to pay around 980 dollars and you know within the first 20, 72, uh, 72 hours you can pay 490 dollars and stuff like that and they will ask you to contact in the given email address that's healthmanager at gmail.com or at mail.com and restore manager at airmail.com so these are the things and one of the important note is your personal id key so they will ask you to send this to them and you can send a file so i send them a file from my gmail i send them a file a file from my gmail and um it's a test file so they actually encrypt, decrypted the email the, the the file that i was that i sent to them and i was pretty convinced that yes they do have the software it's just you know whether or not you can believe these hackers um you know after sending the money whether or not they will send you the the software or the, and the code so um you know i pretty much a lot of my friends and my even family members told me not to send the money to these guys because you know these are the so-called bad guys you know and they, you wouldn't you wouldn't want to trust them and pretty much you know i don't i didn't have a backup of my computer it's around 2000 uh, gigabytes of my files which was um you know pretty much my life um whole my whole life story was was in this computer so uh, the only hope was uh, hope of getting back my files were to request these hackers uh, to you know send me the decoder and the key of course so not listening to my friends and family you know deep inside i thought maybe i could give this give this a try you know at least um, that would satisfy me um, so I sent them the payment yesterday with one of with the help of one of my uh, brother-in-law who, who lives in the United States and uh, he helped me to transfer this uh, Bitcoin to these uh, to these guys uh, uh, on a on an account that was given to me uh, by them you know there was a different uh, 15 16 letter key um, that was the name of the account of the um, Bitcoin account. So I sent them 0 0.041. That was 493 dollars in total. Uh, I will send you. I'll show you the the files. All right. So um, I don't know if you can see. All right. These are the files. Um, okay. Why is it not showing here? Um, okay. Alright, I'll try and show you this. So show, show this to you in my Gmail. Um, just a second. So if you go to sent, so I speak. I spoke to these guys, um, you know, from two email accounts. Um, just because I didn't hear them hear uh, hear from them um, from my Gmail for a day or so, so I had to contact them with a different account. Um, okay, uh, sent. So this might not be the one. Um, so help. Um, okay, there's a total 38 of these emails. Um, so that was one of the, the files they sent. Uh, I sent to them uh, the, the, the NILE extension, which they actually managed to uh, uh, decrypt and send it to me. Uh, but I'm trying to look for the the payment note that I actually we made it to these guys. Um, I don't know where it has gone. Um, okay, sent messages. Uh, if I were to see the inbox and all right, so thirty five. Where are they? Okay. So I, you see, I, I I had like you know message them a couple of times. Um, So on 8th of August, this is on the 8th of August, this is on 10th of August, uh, this must be today, uh, 
okay this is the one so you know uh, this was sent to these guys the 492 dollars and okay It's just a screenshot, uh, which is not. But you could see this, you know. So it was sent to these guys, and I sent this screenshot to these guys, and they actually sent me this email today in the morning, saying, "Now you could have this." Okay, so they sent me this email saying, you know, you, you gotta, you gotta, um, you know, um, scan your PC with any of these uh, free antivirus. What I did was I actually formatted my C drive because I had a backup of my C drive. I actually formatted my C drive with a, a fresh Windows, deleted all my uh, previous um, settings, previous files from C drive. So I had a fresh start. And then I actually downloaded the file um, which they gave me, the decoder. And they sent me this private key, which is around a paragraph. This is this is the key, man. That's that's too long. These keys, and with this key, they give you the personal ID again, which was very similar to the uh, to the personal ID they, they was they left on my note. Uh, I'll show you the note, for example. So this was the note they left on my PC, and that key, the one they sent me in my email, uh, was this one so they left a few characters uh, in front and the rest of was the same so they left me this uh, uh, personal ID and a file name which I will show you I'm, I'm just trying to show you how you can decrypt it so what you have to do is you have to first of all run um, the, the software that was given to us so it's the software that will be um, so that's the software that's that's been given to me and the email uh, I'm trying to open up my email and copy the same key from here to the end private key so that's you shouldn't miss a space that's what uh, they were saying and you can copy the private key here and paste it that's one thing the next thing you have to do after that is copy the personal ID that's given to you so in my case this is the one so I'll copy that and paste it here and also the same file name that was given to me so that I copied this and paste it here now you can actually start to scan the whole system and decrypt it or you can decrypt a specific file or folder that you want so I'm gonna test a folder uh, just to show you to, to show it to you guys um, so I'll test a folder that's in my PC I'll go to my say for instance I'll show you this one first of all this is with all with dot nile extension all right this folder called 12 days tour is with all the extensions you know we cannot open that now I'm going to select that folder and decrypt it so now it has already been decrypted that's how easy it is after you obviously get the software now I'll, I'll go to the same folder 12 days tour and see if there are any pictures see all the pictures are decrypted already I think it's it's getting decrypted yep now so it's in the process see now it's it might be if I refresh this this could be or I don't know why is it okay some of the folders are getting decrypted All right, so these are getting de decrypted, um, and I'm trying this just fresh in front of you all, um, just to see how it works. You know, basically now it's all getting decrypted. You know, so see how fast it can encrypt and decrypt with the same software. You know, so obviously these guys made me go through a very hard time. You know, obviously these are the memories of my life, which I, you know, obviously. For me, 
five hundred dollars I could make that you know in in uh, in a few months you know but for some people the same amount of money could be a lot of money um, it's 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 up to you to decide whether you your files are um, you know important to you or not but this was only possible after I paid these guys the money so open it I'm gonna try a software to open this file of mp4 which did not open okay the mp4 file is not opening at all uh, as of now um, th that's because this is a very fresh window that I've installed and maybe the, it doesn't have the player uh, as of now so that's one of the folders I'm gonna try and decrypt all of them just to see how it works um, and I think hopefully uh, these files should decrypt uh, with the codes uh, and the software that's been provided to me so that's it guys I mean I don't think there is any other way of um, getting your files back other than you know contacting these uh, uh, hackers so in my case um, a lot of people told me not to pay them but then I did pay them and uh, obviously they sent me this um, decoder and the the, uh, the specific I think that's a very unique key to everyone's file and I was about to, I was uh, able to um, get my files back um, I don't want to thank the hackers but then obviously they did a they that the things they are they are doing to us is not legal at all but obviously with without with no hope of getting my files back even after paying these hackers um, at least you know um, I was able to get them back um, trusting them um, for, for no reason at all um, so yeah uh, that was that was me um, you know learning a very hard lesson of my life I, I never had one of these experience in my um, in my life um, this was the first one so what I learned from this was um, you should always back up your files no matter what so you should have a second drive where you all where all your of your important files should be backed up there is no other way um, to get safer from the internet uh, than that you know so Obviously, hopefully you guys learned that lesson uh, out of me and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.